guys good morning this is uh tuesday morning and it's about uh 5 44. i'm going through a drive through to get a cup of mcdonald's coffee mm. hello go to the next one hello uh, can I have a cup of large coffee? Yeah. Um, two sweeteners and uh, one cream. Anything else? No, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, good. Good morning. Good idea. Yeah. Thank you. There's something about McDonald's coffee. Oh God. Well, I love to make coffee at home, but since I started sleeping in my car, I buy McDonald's coffee. It's, there's something about it. I have tried making it at home. I buy it from the store and then go home to make it. It doesn't taste the same way. I don't know what they put inside. I didn't know the combination, the measurement, but mm, this is not a sponsored advert. It's just saying how I feel, how it tastes, and how it suits me. There's something about McDonald's coffee. It's different from every other coffee, guys. Mm. Ah. Oh my gosh. It's, it goes down into my stomach and to my throat. Oh, and it's very, very suiting. Mm. So guys, I just want to say a few things about me sleeping in my car. I do have a house. There's nothing wrong with my house. I still pay my rent. Okay, guys. Um, but I, I'm going through a phase in my life that I do not understand myself. I do not. I don't know how to explain it to someone that would understand. If there's anyone who understands what I'm saying, please put it in the comment section. I am going through a phase, I don't know if it's called a midlife crisis or I'm losing my mind or there's something wrong with me, I don't know, but I am afraid of being at home by myself, okay? I used to love being at home uh, by myself, but now it's there's nothing pursuing me in my house, please. Nothing is pursuing me. There's no ojuju there, there's no um, nobody there. I'm not being pursued from my house by any landlord. I pay my rent up to date, but I notice something that is very, very frightening um, to me and I don't know this is the best way for me to deal with it right now. I believe uh, this phase is going to pass and then maybe I'll go back to my old self. You know, um, now I... I used to be very judgmental about people's way of living. When I see a homeless person and I, I begin to judge them, why would someone 
be staying sleeping on the street is instead of sleeping in the house why would somebody be living in their cars but i i watched there was this video i love to watch now on youtube about people sleeping in their cars all of a sudden i just love it i love it i don't watch anything else again the only thing i watch is people sleeping in their cars how they manage to sleep in their cars how they are comfortable sleeping in their cars you know the initial time i started watching it i didn't see nobody said anything bad about what sleeping in their cars everybody just says good things oh i love it i sleep in my cars and i love it this is the best thing that has ever happened to me and you know how things gradually grow on you it grew on me it started growing on me every video i watch on youtube is about someone sleeping in their car sleeping in the van traveling from one place to another so all of a sudden my life became so boring just from work home walk home and when i get home i don't want to come out i schedule myself for um for for that for dash for delivery for those of you that do door dash you understand what i mean i schedule myself for delivery and then before you know it when you start i just don't want to go out i just don't want to leave my house anymore the house became a comfort zone for me it's too it was too comfortable even when it is time for me to go to work i don't want to go to work anymore i don't want to get up from my bed i don't want to leave my house anymore it's so boring that when even when i'm invited to a party or something or i'm invited somewhere i don't want to go i don't want to leave my house so i it's it's been like that for a while now and it's bothering me it's been bothering me like i i have a, i should have a life outside my work right but i don't have a life outside my work and that is very very scary and it's it frightened me so when i started watching people living in their van in their cars i became very much interested and then I visualize myself sleeping in my car. Wow. I visualize myself sleeping in my car. And I noticed that I felt so good the first time. Do not get me wrong. There are there are downsides of sleeping in the car, especially in a place like Canada. When if, if it is hot, it's either it's too hot. And when it is cold, it's extremely cold. I'm happy this is happening in summer and even at that at night it can be very cold very cold yeah yeah but you wouldn't even know it's summer when it's night in in, um, in Canada but I know my friends are embarrassed my family members are embarrassed uh, but I'm, I apologize but um, it doesn't change what I'm doing it's not gonna change what I'm going through and um, I just see myself being a, being doing what I'm doing without any explanation. And then when you try to explain to someone, um, they say all sorts of things. You are entitled to your own opinion. You are right. You are correct. You are you are allowed to say whatever you want to say, and then um, you are allowed to do whatever you want to do. I don't. That's your life, and this is my life. Um, I am not saying what I'm doing is right or what I'm doing is wrong. It is just what I feel like doing at this point in my life, and um, I believe. Um, it will pass and then I'll go back to my normal life if there's anything like normal who even says sleeping in the four walls of a room is a normal thing you know people have been living from last like nomads for a long time and uh, there was nothing wrong until um, you know civilization came in everybody's uh, sleeping in the four walls of the house with lights with everything with your stove in the house a roof over your head this is my roof for now this is my home for now and um, Please don't judge me. If you have not walked in my shoes, do not judge me. Please. If you have not walked in my shoes, do not judge me. And that is why people are going through depression. They express depression in different forms. Yes, I know this is depression. Um, I'm, I'm dealing with it and the best way I know. And um, if there's anything that you think I should do, I know a lot of people, you will say, go and see a doctor. They will only give you antidepressant medication. Um, and that's the only thing they will give to you and you, go, you make you go through therapy that you have to pay for yourself I don't have the money to go do therapy to pay for therapists. So this is my own way of therapy This is my own way of you know going through therapy and uh, I hope um, you understand Well, it doesn't really I don't it doesn't matter if you understand or not. I'm just letting you know So guys This is where I sleep um, This is my blanket so yep yeah these are my things okay for now um i'm gonna put it put it in order at night i cover my windows so at night i cover the windows 
I have uh, my coverings, covers here that I used to cover my windows so that nobody sees me um, through the window. Mm -hmm. So I'm going for the delivery right now. I'm going to start my delivery. I'm going to do door dash and then uh, go to the gym, run on the treadmill for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. And then I can um, enter the shower and get cleaned up for the day. Okay, guys? All right. So, see you later. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please do so. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel so that I'm giving you updates on um, what the phase, every phase, until I decide to leave the car life. And if I find it very interesting, I could decide to migrate somewhere else where the weather is okay so I can continue living the van life. You know, I, it's really afforded me the opportunity of moving from place to place. Not, it's just that my lease is still running. So, and um, for now, I'm not going to let my house go because I know winter in Canada is very, very, very something else. So, I'm not gonna do it during some winter. Please don't be, don't get me wrong. I enjoy sleeping in the car. I don't know why. There's this to some people, it's um, uh, it's drugs. They take you know, substance to keep their mental state. Some people it's um, alcohol. Some people it's food. Yes, I used to be foodie. I used to be a foodie. I used to eat a lot. When I'm going through something, I eat and eat and eat. I don't stop eating. And that's one of the reasons I'm so as I'm so afraid of being at home by myself. Eat, I eat, I just cook and eat everything that comes my way.